Alrighty, this week's newsletter tidbit is going to be how to correctly adjust your valve lash. We get this question quite a bit. It's really not that complicated. Some people try to make it. This, this basically will work on any motor you have that's a four cycle motor, whether it be your one lunger Briggs or your V12 Allison engine. So uh, this is just a very, very easy procedure. Um, type situation. We've done it for years this way. So uh, so here, here we have one of our Hemis and what we've got going on here is we've pre-mocked up all the rock arm assemblies, uh, uh, figured out our push rod length, but we build the push rods here in house. So uh, we've gone through that setup now and now we're kind of checking our push rods that we've manufactured here and stuff. So we'll use this for an example. This is a solid uh, roller motor here stuff so let's just say so we're going to adjust this intake first so what you want to do is watch your exhaust rocker arm okay so we're going to rotate this over and just get it to where see that rocker arm just starts to move okay so now what you want to do is adjust the intake what that does tells you right there is that the base circle we're on the base circle of the camshaft on the intake side so uh, now you can go ahead and adjust your lash. So let's say now we're done with that. Now we're going to go ahead and adjust the the exhaust. So what you want to do is watch your intake rocker arm. Rotate it over. You go to full lift. When it just starts to stop, change direction, starting to close. Boom. Now you can adjust your exhaust rocker arm. There again, it's assuring you that you're on the base circle of the camshaft. So basically, that that will. Every cylinder, you just use that that theory there on every cylinder that you do. You know, you'll be you'll keep yourself out of trouble. Uh, works really easy. It's really easy to remember. So um, that's that's how you adjust it. Now that'll, that'll work on a solid hydraulic, whatever that might be. Like I said, a one longer uh, Briggs and motor and stuff. So the next thing we'll we'll discuss is valve lash setting. Uh, so naturally. Uh, you'll get a like if you get a motor from us or anybody like that you'll you'll get this cam card and as you can see it'll tell you a valve lash this one happens to be 2626 so uh, a lot of difference between cold and hot lash so <clears throat> particularly we'll kind of run through the uh, if you have aluminum heads it's about 10 thousandths expansion with aluminum heads iron blocks so technically if this was an iron block motor aluminum heads cold we'd want to naturally set it about sixteen thousandths and that would give us a net at 26 once we would hit 200 degrees so being a aluminum block and aluminum head and then you got to add about another 10 for the aluminum block so that's 20 thousandths expansion so basically cold we're going to set it at six thousand so naturally if you're building yourself an all aluminum motor you really want to keep in mind you don't want to put a tight lash camshaft in it technically you're you're at, you know some tight lashes are 12,000 so you got 20,000 expansion when you fire that thing up it's going to be hanging the valves open so something to keep in mind if you're designing yourself an aluminum motor you you definitely want to to have the correct valve lash camshaft into it so um, so that basically and so if it's an iron head motor and an iron block very little expansion difference so maybe a couple thousand so you can actually set it cold what they're telling you to set it hot so that kind of gives you some some guidelines you know naturally it's always better and more precise to get the thing up to temperature and then set your valve lot lash uh, with it up to temperature but this will give you a good guideline when you're first starting your motor up what to do and what not to do so uh, far as valve lash and, and thermal expansion so here now we'll go over to a hydraulic roller motor which is right over here okay so you know basically you know most most cam manufacturers out there is in, on a performance based camshaft going to tell you a quarter turn so kind of a little bit of education on, on that and stuff uh, basically if you have a there, there's two studs out there a 3 8 24 threads per inch and a 7 16 20 threads per inch so what that is, just for the general public, it's going to take on a 3 it's going to take you 24 turns to go one inch, and 7 16 is going to take you 20 turns to go an inch. So, 
basically a quarter turn on a 7 16 stud it nets you about 14 thousandths of movement so basically on a 3 8 that nets you about 10 thousandths so there's about a 4 thousandths difference there on those two adjustments so naturally a quarter turn on a let's say a 7 16 stud on aluminum head okay we as we pre told you about the expansion 10 thousandths uh, you're gonna have about three four thousandths preload which is, is, is in our mind is good okay if it's a 3 8 stud yeah you're gonna be you're gonna be right at zero lash you could be you could have a little clearance maybe not maybe a little less so then naturally if it's an aluminum head motor or block like this this particular one that quarter turn is definitely you're gonna have lash when you get it up to temperature so it's really crucial to understand the thermal expansion of what you've got and really what that quarter turn represents or what that turn represents in in your 3 8 stud 7 16 uh, if it's an all iron motor you know a quarter turn is a good bit of good bit of preload now you have no expansion rate there and stuff so uh, naturally it's very very good to understand what kind of material you're dealing with in the motor what kind of thread or rocker stud that you have in the motor and so you can precisely adjust it to uh, what you think it should be so uh, just to understand those those concepts there so uh, so that's that's about it for uh, valve wash this week uh, probably in the next couple weeks or so we'll probably do a little clip on uh, hydraulic roller lifters solid roller lifters give you a little education on on the pros and cons of some of those things there too so um, so appreciate you uh, watching definitely appreciate it if you would share this with everybody and uh, come back next week have a great one